Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Josh. Today we are going to be starting a new series called the Post Frame Building and just going to be kind of taking you along with our step-by-step -step process, kind of show you the um, time frame and how it comes out. So if you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you like these videos, hit the like button and we're just going to kind of dive right on into showing you how we're going to get started on this building. Okay, so we got our measurements. We're going 20 feet off this mobile home here. And we're gonna make it a 40 wide, 48 long. Um, this is how we're marking it out. We're gonna use stakes. You can do this with wood too, but like an L shape. And it allows you to adjust the string corner to corner a lot easier. Once you get it set, to keep people from moving it, or if they move it, you don't wanna really have to do it. You just spray a little bit of paint here. But anyways, we're all square. We got the right measurements. Now we're gonna go ahead and mark out our posts to get ready to start drilling them. Right, Caleb? Uh-huh. Yeah. You hungry, Caleb? I am a little hungry. Caleb always likes food. Especially when it gets cold. Okay, for reals. Okay, we went ahead and got our lines all up. It's all square, all measured out. We went eight foot on centers, got it all marked out. That's what the engineer's calling for. So we're gonna do 24 inch caissons, piers for our posts. On the eaves, on the bearing walls, and on the end walls, we're gonna be doing 18 inch. Okay, we got these set up. We got them all marked out, eight foot on centers. For the bearing side, this is the longer side. Uh, so we get 24 inch piers there on the end walls. We're doing 18 inch. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and start getting this drill, get the skidster ready and get cracking. Hi, Caleb. Right. Right. Let's hook that bad boy up. Okay, so we got our, all our hole dug, holes dug, drilled, and then we had to clean them out by hand just to get the very bottom of the dirt to get them to our depth that the engineer's calling for, which is around 52 inches. So, we got all these dug all the way around. 18 inches here. Two foot over here. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, mixing uh, basically our pier. We're gonna be pouring concrete. Um, more on the side walls for the bearing weight and the less bags on the end. We're using 60 pound quick butt bags. All right, Caleb, what you doing? Mixing some concrete for our, our holes. Yeah? Yeah. What's the best way to mix concrete, Caleb, in your opinion? Well, the best way? The concrete truck is the best way. But yeah. if you're talking for time's sake, just a wheelbarrow and a shovel is the quickest way to do it. And have a strapping young man like yourself. Yes, like myself. So I pretend like I'm kind of working. So, and hopefully he actually does most of the work. So, anyways, it's taking about three bags on the ends. And uh, we pour them. This dirt is actually recycled concrete and keeps them on the bottom. But we're getting these all poured. 
And uh, yeah, once these are uh, all dried, then we are, we'll be ready to set our posts. So we just gotta go ahead and get all 28 posts uh, poured with concrete, so at least a couple pallets, so, yep. Okay, we're working on setting posts today. We brought half our post up. Um, we got our concrete pad securing. I'm gonna kind of show you. So we poured this a couple days ago. Oh, you can't see it. It's full of leaves. Are they all full of leaves? Pretty much. Anyways, we got concrete in here that have been sitting, so. We're ready to go ahead and set all these posts, start setting them today. So I'm going to just kind of take you along with the process on how we do it. There's multiple ways to do it. We're going to be manhandling them and just uh, try to get them done in a jiffy. So it's all full of uh, aspen leaves.
so when we're sitting in the post, we'll go ahead and put like another four bags or something around the base. What it does is it keeps it solid from moving around and then it holds those large nails down and it's embedded in the concrete and keeps it from uplift. So, yep, got these. Now all we're going to do is just refill them. Refill them back with the same gravel material that we took out. Compact them a little bit by hand and water. And then, uh, yeah, those uh, these posts will be about done and set. Okay, guys, so we got all these posts set now. Sorry for the shadows, the light this morning. We got all these posts set now. We got all the holes backfilled. We got them tamped. We got all the posts braced. We even got these breezeway posts set. And because it's gonna be attached to the mobile home. And if anybody's asking why the heck would you attach to the mobile home, um, the clients just uh, simply purchased the land, the house they're just gonna renovate, use it as a rental, and they wanted to build a shop and a garage, but because they're in the city limits, they couldn't do a shop and garage larger than the residence, and the residence isn't that large, so unless it was attached. So they are attaching it just so they can build the building they actually want. So no hate on here, that's simply why. It just makes sense. So anyways, we got these all done. Next time, we come back. Next time I come back, we're going to start making things happen and start getting this framed up. It's going to be a really nice shop. It's a good size. Um, it's going to be a really nice one. So, anyways, thanks for following along, guys. Stay tuned for our next video following this process of this build. And until next time, guys, Josh out. What? What are you telling me? I said we got rid of our original marks, remember? We, we marked them. We got rid of them and we marked them for a stream so we could pull our measurements. So I don't know what's right. We might be an inch and a half off. We might not be though. We might have to move them. Or we might be right. The reason it's not that it's wrong, but it could be wrong. Because we're trying to line up with here. So that's up open to opinion. You move it. I don't want to move it. Okay, let me sight it. Does it sight straight? That definitely, right there definitely looks in. Doesn't that definitely look see, in? Can you see that, guys? Through the, uh, you know what, Caleb? I think we actually did do it I right. know, I think we did. We did do it right. Sweet. Ha! Ah! You up here getting me all worried about us not doing it right and then we're having to redo everything we just did. And if anybody is asking why we're attaching a new building to this beautiful house, 